Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to replace the uh, the flex cable on an Apple Watch. This is the 38mm uh, uh, first gen um, Apple Watch. Um, the, uh, the battery connector is damaged. Um, so if you ever need to replace the, uh, the battery connector or the microphone for some reason or the connector for the, um, um, the force touch uh, sensor that goes around the, the frame, this is the piece that you're going to need to replace. I'm going to show you how to desolder it and solder on a new one. Um, first what I'm going to do on the joints is add a little bit of flux this a little easier and I don't like to use hot air so we're just gonna do this whole thing with the soldering iron uh, I'm gonna take uh, some uh, uh, fast chip or quick chip or whatever you want to call it just any low melt solder in fact just any solder in general will work um, I'm just gonna add just a little bit across these pads to make it easier for me to lift Just going to use gravity to uh, help us out here. I'm just going to grab the cable. And we're just going to slowly go across all of these. like that. We're going to add some fresh solder just to dilute the, uh, the quick chip a little bit, pick it all up, at least most of it. Add a little bit more flux. And then I'm going to wick it. There we go. alcohol and we're going to scrub down this area I want to remove all of the adhesive that was holding down that cable around it because I want a flat surface for the new flex cable to adhere to and also so that it's easier to solder on now there's a couple methods to make sure you've made each joint perfect. Um, the method that I like to use is I'm going to add a little bit more solder to each one of these pads and I'm going to use the soldering iron to flow the solder through each one of those little holes just to make sure I do have a solid connection. So. Some solder and some more flux to make them all uniform.
clean it up again just so it can add some perfectly fresh flux. Tack down each side, and I have the windows straight. And then, using a little bit of pressure with the tweezers, I'm just going to make sure that they, uh, the solder, when the solder comes through, that it flattens out the, that the connector goes all the way down. You can feel it kind of push down. Now if you're unsure of any, you can always add a little bit more solder just for fun. And the one thing I like to do is just take a multimeter and I'm just going to test for basic continuity most of the time but they'll, the pins will react and, and give me some type of feedback, either a test to like a ground line or a data line or something. Feedback. I'll take some alcohol, clean up the connector, get another fresh Q tip. And that's it. 
just gonna take the cover that we pulled off. Just throw it back on. And that's how to replace the uh, the uh, battery flex or microphone flex or the uh, um, force uh, uh, or the pressure uh, touch around the around the display if you've teared, torn that cable for some reason. Yeah, that was fun. I should also just mention that there are four more little solder joints that you have to tack um, right there. Um, really simple, and just a straight flow through. Um, if you're doing this repair, you'll see what I mean when you when you get to that. Um, it's uh, they're right here. Um, those four pads it just wraps around the wraps around this and the solder there. Yeah. If you have any questions, let me know.